It's strange, this place. It's, it's, all, it's quite primitive. I don't mean yeah, that yeah, in a bad way. Yeah, yeah, some things are. Yeah, yeah, some things are yeah. primitive, yeah. Yeah. But do you like that, though? Yeah, I love it. This place is bloody carnage, and to be honest, I found the whole thing disturbing. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't the last time the dismembered wedding tackle would be back to bother me. So we're going off for our evening meal now, are we? Yes, of course. Well, Chef, nice to, nice to meet you. How are you doing, man? Nice to meet you. I'll go choose uh, drink this, yeah. That's why I drink this. Yeah. Mate, a type of tea, is the gaucho's tipple of choice. Its appeal soon became wonderfully apparent. It is essentially rocket fuel. I feel completely disorientated. I think I might be here for some time. This is, this is absolutely rocking. Can I have another one, please? Yeah. Uh, is this hallucinogenic or...? No. I'm starting to just... Freak out a little bit. It was all turning into a rather excellent evening, but things were about to take an ugly turn when the sheep's head suddenly made an unwelcome appearance on the menu. And to be honest, I'm full. You must to do it. I must. Yeah. If I did not eat that, would the other gauchos not respect me? They won't. I'm not entirely sure I'm comfortable with this, but I'm going to try Let's it anyway. go! It's quite tasty. Yeah? So it's all. Yeah. It wasn't just jawbone I was expected to no, eat, yeah. but the brain, green on it. and yes, the eyes as well. That's... Uh... <laughs> The leg does taste a bit better. Yeah, 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 I think so too. Then the moment of horror as the deep fried bovine love spuds arrived to ruin an already perfectly hideous dining sensation. I am, I'll tell you what, to be honest, I'm going to eat this out of respect for him. Here is to the ball. Um, I'm truly sorry. Good. It's good. That's salty. Yeah? That is starting to. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> it had all become a little bit too much for my fragile constitution, and I politely made my excuses. He falou que gostou de conhecer vocês, que sabe você saiu para andar junto a cavalo. And this should okay. you know, work itself out. Okay. Well, it's time for bed, and. I'm thinking I might not be cut out for this gaucho lifestyle. My stomach was turning, and not just from last night's testes laden supper. No, it was nerves, a colossal foreboding of what was to come. Danger was only just around the corner. For Giuliano, and for me. You seriously want me to ride that? Let's go, let's go. In my worldwide quest to discover the true essence of manhood, I've rather foolishly signed up to become a Brazilian gaucho, an extreme breed of South American cattle driver that specializes in breaking in their own wild stallions. For me to remotely consider myself a man, I've been given five days to ride one of these bad boys myself. To be fair right now, it looks like I'm quite literally in for a shoeing. First off though, my mentor Giuliano has provided a little R&R &R in the form of a local rodeo. He's going to be risking his neck today and he's given me free reign to do whatever I like. This of course has ended in a rather predictable Hames manner. He's drunk. I, 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 he's he's going to win. He's going to win. The object is simply to stay on the horse for eight seconds, which is a lot easier said than done when they're hell-bent on crushing the poor b****s on top. Giuliano's ride was, well, let's be fair, a nut job. He was lucky, thank God, to get away without major injury. Yep, he was okay. But the pain did leave him in a bloody foul mood the next morning. Wake up, man! Wake up! You should wake up at six. We are in a farm, man. Wake up! Wake Giuliano up. was unimpressed with my drinking through the previous day and had just the tonic in mind. 
Not satisfied with this humiliation, he then insisted I visit from whence the unearthly muck had come. It appears one of the cows had been putting it about a bit, and I was to check if we were to welcome the patter of tiny hooves. Gauchos do this. Yeah. You know, I don't want to look like a monkey. Am I going through that yeah. area yeah. there? Yeah. Ah! It's just letting off gas. Oh, I can feel stuff moving in there. Ah! <laughs> look, look what you look what you did. <laughs> Ask me. I cannot believe that she just took a dump. <laughs> Even Giuliano now agreed I'd suffered enough, and painfully aware of the horrors that lay in wait, he got me quickly back in the saddle, moving 400 head of cattle to pastures new. In terms of horsemanship, I think I'm doing not too badly at the moment, wielding a decent amount of authority with the whip. Unfortunately, the whip produced outright rebellion. Look at old golden balls go. Look at him. He's, I don't know what, what he's thinking. I don't know. No way. Easy. I then discovered another possible reason why golden balls was permanently grouchy. Like all the other poor creatures out here, he too had had his knackers whipped off. This does no have balls. No balls. Well. I mean, that's no good. I've been calling him golden balls. Golden. <laughs> I'm sure with the language problems we'd been suffering all week, he didn't really get it. But just the fact that someone so damn cool found me funny was plenty good enough. I have to say, I am finding this work incredibly physically demanding. That and the fact that I can hardly control golden balls, despite the fact he hasn't even got <laughs> is making me feel even less of a man than I ever did. Okay, let's, at least I can control the cows. Look, they move. <laughs>